And finally, new rules. Someone has to explain to America's police that the purpose of the body cam isn't so you can upload your beatings onto YouTube. <laughs> When did punching someone in the head become a law enforcement technique? The cops need to make up their minds. They do a river dance on your skull, and then when they're putting you in the car, they say, watch your head. We need to stop saying most cops are good like we know that to be true. I hope it's true, but I need some evidence, unlike cops. <laughs> the bad ones, not the good ones. Problem is, again, we don't really know what that percentage is. That's the question I'm asking tonight. If most cops are good, why are there so many videos of them being bad? Just in the last month, we've seen just a few bad ones beating the suntan lotion off a skinny girl in a bikini, completely atypical officers mercilessly wailing on a homeless guy in Oregon, and totally non-representative policemen beating a black man in Arizona. That's a lot of videos of guys who barely exist doing shit that hardly ever happens. Not to mention the Milwaukee Bucks Sterling Brown getting tased for a crime white people can't even imagine existing while black. This is why NFL players want to take a knee, not because they hate the anthem. <laughs> now, Now, in the cop's defense, the woman in New Jersey did have an open container of alcohol. The homeless man was making loud noises. And the man by the elevator looked like he was, quote, preparing for a physical altercation, which apparently means he was standing up. <laughs> it's like getting a speeding ticket in a parked car because your flame decals look fast. <laughs> Seems to me we need a Me Too movement for the police. <laughs> if Garrison Keillor had to go away for putting his hand on a woman's back, perhaps we should decide what should happen when two men pin a woman down in the sand and punch her in the face. Because I'm sensing a power imbalance here. There's obviously a lot of rage that police work brings out in a person, and I don't doubt for a moment that it's justified and that we need to do more to help officers find better ways to channel it. But we also have to call men who wail on the defenseless while their buddies hold them down what they are, cowards. Eighty-four percent of cops say they've directly witnessed a fellow officer using excessive force, and 61 percent say they don't always report serious abuse. This thin blue line stuff has got to go away. It can't be the... <laughs> it, it can't be the duty of every American to say something if they see something, except for the people whose job it is to do something. When... When, when cops ask minorities why they don't snitch on their own, minorities have every right to say, you first. <laughs> and, <laughs> and stop, just stop defending the indefensible. They're always reviewing these videos as if they're ghost hunters looking for signs of a poltergeist. <laughs> The only thing you need to review is your hiring practices. We, we need... We need better psychological screening to weed out the people who become cops as payback for high school. Because that's always the real crime, isn't it? Attitude, 
not being instantly deferential. We need to ask the question, are the wrong type of people becoming cops? It's a fair question. <laughs> the police attract bullies like the priesthood attracts pedophiles. <laughs> like carnivals attract meth addicts. Look, I know there are good cops. I know some personally. I used to buy drugs off one. Great guy. <laughs> Great guy. No, I, I... I do know some cops. I do know some who do their jobs like total pros. And... And it's true, there are no viral videos of an officer putting his life on the line every day for years. So I get, I get why cops are so often ready to explode. America is a nation that current statistics show is 23.6% scumbag. <laughs> and, that, <laughs> and that's who cops deal with every day. Thieves, pimps, road ragers, gangbangers, people who lock their kids in cars, perverts jerking off in bookstores. <laughs> Shia LaBeouf. <laughs> but if you expect nice, don't be a cop. Be a Mountie. <laughs> Police work. It's like proctology. Assholes come with the job. <laughs> it doesn't give you the right to abuse people. Remember, you're a cop, not a flight attendant. <laughs> 